Hey guys, this one's going to be a little bit longer, um, but it's something I feel like we really need to discuss. I was going through some old stuff from the beginning um, because I'm going to go through each day's um, like news reports and uh, like the letters and stuff like that. Would you guys quit it? Sorry, my cat and dog. Um, I was looking and I saw this, this poster, right? And the very first things on it, thing on it, it says, hello, DWC family. We are reaching out because a close family friend of ours went missing from a party in Prosser in Truckee, California last night. She will be 17 years old in less than a month. Her name is Kylie Rodney, and we are so worried about her. She was last seen around 1.30 a.m. CHP helicopter, Placer County Sheriff, and search and rescue are looking. If any teens know anything, please call Rick Rule at 530-305-9739. I don't know who that is. Never heard of him. Total amnesty. Day one. Wow. You will not get in trouble for reporting any information. If any teens know anything, or I'm sorry, um, thank you so much. We want Kylie back. Find Kylie at gmail.com. Last seen in Green Dickies, bring Green Dickies pants, a black tank top, numerous piercings, jewelry, and nose ring. Kylie Rodney was last seen near the Prosser family campground in Truckee. Kylie was at a party of more than 100 juveniles and young adults. She was last seen at the party on August 6, 2022, around 12.30 a.m. Kylie's vehicle is also missing from the party. Okay, so this, this, this flyer, okay says that she was last seen around 1230. And then up here, it says she was last seen around 1.30 a.m. Which is it? Which is it? I see Sammy. She was the last person to see her that knew what was going on, right? Anyway, so it got me thinking. Of, I was like, what does DWC stand for? Dead Winter Carpenters. And I'm like, okay, cool. It must be that band or whatever, right? So I got to looking into them, these folks, you know. Remember Jenny Charles playing stuff? That chick right there, you know, Kylie's music teacher and all. Okay. So I got to looking through. Well, well let me get through this first. Um, hailing from North, North Lake Tahoe, California, American Roots rock band Dead Winter Carpenters has built a reputation for pouring their heart out, their heart and soul into each performance. Over the past decade, the band has worked hard to position themselves. Wrote Portland wrote Portland Metronome at the forefront of a youth generation trying to redefine what string music is and what it can do. The progressive nature shines through and clear on the band's latest release, Sinners and Freaks, which debuted April 24, 2020. Born of organic roots, based roots, born of, born of an organic roots based approach, Sinners and Freaks rings true to the Sierra Nevada foothills. So, Truckee's full of a bunch of sinners and freaks. I believe you. Okay. Moving on. So, af when the flyer, after the flyer was put down, uh, or out, I, uh, I came across um, a bunch of, uh, sorry, I'm a little disorganized here. I found a bunch of messages underneath of it. Um, where people had asked questions and whatnot, and dead weird winter carpenters answered it. So I'd like to go over a few of them with you because they're very interesting. All right, here's the original. We're reaching out. Okay, dead winter carpenters. Hold on, guys. Trust me, this is worth it. I swear. Oh, there's some really good nuggets in here. Mm -hmm. This person says, contact truckers groups, truckers against trafficking to keep their eyes open, bikers against trafficking to keep their eyes open in California and area states and cities. This person says, you can try Adventures with Purpose, also based in Bend, Oregon. And it says, Paige replied privately. Hmm, interesting. Was Jenny Charles the one that called AWP? Hmm. Moving on. This person, 
I can't show you because I forgot to mark it out. <laughs> but this person with a very interesting, interesting last name. <clears throat> uh, said, hot air balloons up tomorrow. Shared with the teams. This person says, I live in Prosser. Didn't know anything about a party. But will, of course, be keeping an eye out. Sounds a bit strange. Hopefully, she's okay. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I look, I, I did make one words blurred out. Look at that surname, right? Lara. See that last name right there? That's interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm, I thought that was interesting. Could be a coincidence. Very common name. And then the Dead Winter Carpenters replies and says, That does sound really strange. We are so worried. The party wasn't in the neighborhood. It was by the reservoir. The person replies, Okay, copy that. Very strange. Hope that we can find her soon. Mm -hmm. Me too. Right? Right. Right. So this chick, the... I don't know who's replying. I'm assuming it's Jenny Charles, but it could be any of the band members, I'm sure, or someone that represents them. But the reply is, like a clandestine rave party? Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Let's keep going. This person says, I still think of her as a much younger child. My heart is aching for her family and friends. I'm praying hard all day and hopeful and hopeful some good news soon. See? There were people that actually did love Kylie, or at least care about her a little bit. Probably the strangers, but we'll take what we can get at this point, right? Do you have any more details? Was she left at a house party and left on main roads? Was she at a high school bonfire party? If so, can we get a pin of the general location? The Truckee Dirt Riders, Lake Tahoe Snowmobilers, Truckee Dirt Union, etc. know those back roads like it's the back of our hands and might have a sense of direction she might have gone. Does anyone from the party know what her plan was as she was leaving? Good question, right? Very good question. So this, this neighbor replies and says, Hey, I'm not sure where this party was, but I was at Prosser about 1030 in the morning and cleaned up quite the mess from a very recent party. Hmm. I don't know if it was re as, if it was as recent as last night, but there were still full drink cups. Didn't see a silver CRV though. I can pinpoint on a map where I cleaned up trash if anyone is interested in going out there to search. Sorry about my dogs, guys. Isn't that interesting? I'm just going to cover up her name and uh, let you all see that for yourself because I'm not making this up. Cups that still were full. Like people left in a hurry, huh? Hmm, interesting. So this man asks her to point it out on a map and she says, this purple dot is as close of an estimate as I can get from Google Earth. I took Prosser Dam Road out across the dam where it intersects to go to Russell Valley and Boca, etc. I turned left and parked on the beach. Walking down the beach towards the dam end is where I saw the trash on the plateau halfway between the water and the woods. There should still be remnants. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? Mm hmm. This is still on Facebook. Y'all can later read it for yourself. Dead Winter Carpenters. <laughs> it says the beach toward the toward the dam end is where I saw the trash on the plateau. Halfway between the water and the woods. There should still be remnants of gummy worms and spilled booze on the ground that I couldn't clean up at the time. 
I wish I would have taken a picture looking back. It would have it would have had a geotag of the exact location. I hope this helps. Oh, Portland. Did I take her name off? I did. All right. And then she uploads this little map right here, okay? I made a bigger one. We'll look at that in a minute. Then this person uh, on this post says, the garage could contain evidence of who she was with if it was hers. Question mark. What is that? The garage could contain evidence of who she was with if it was hers? Question mark. Didn't know someone was missing at the time. I just thought it was garbage on the beach and decided I should have cleaned it up. I still have it in a garbage bag in the dumpster at my house. All this evidence that just got. Mm. Maybe that's the reason for the cup story, you know, the share in the cups. Maybe someone came and cleaned up some trash and they don't know where it went. And oh my God, it could have been the cup, the cup, you know? Maybe. Dead Winter Carpenter says, Thank you for your good deed in picking up the trash. Good deed. That was a crime scene, stupid. Sorry, excuse me. We all appreciate that. Could you call the info number and see if they'd like the garbage for evidence? I know they are actively looking for evidence. And they know the location of where the party was and can match that to your location. Let me read that again. Thank you for picking or for, for your good deed and picking up the trash. We all appreciate that. I bet you all do. Mm -hmm. Could you call the info number and see if they like the garbage for evidence? I know they are actively looking for evidence and they know the location of where the party was and can match it can match that to your location. So is that where the party really was? Because it wasn't at what they're calling the sanctuary, which I don't even think is a sanctuary, but we'll get there. I call Dead Winter Carpenters. I called the detective this morning and left a message with the information I have. How, and how to contact me. I hope she comes home soon. Then this person says, are you saying you may have cleaned up a crime scene? Right? No. And as I stated before, I called the detectives and gave them the information, this woman says. This woman was also a searcher on Caltopo, I believe. Okay, uh, let me see here, let me make sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hold on a second here. I know I've got the map of a better map of it. Hold on one second. Okay, anyway, this says, okay, this says, um, Dead work, or it says, uh, da, 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 no, and as stated before, I called detectives and gave them the information that I had. Thanks. And Dead Winter Carpenter says, yes, absolutely. I will call first thing tomorrow and tell them where I was and see if they want the garbage. One would think the friends would know exactly where the party was. You'd think, right, Zammy? Did she go with anyone? Did she go alone? No, she went with Mags. Mags apparently left her, but I don't think Mags left. But that's just my opinion also. You know, this video, like all my videos, are all speculation. All my very uneducated opinion. And you need to do your own research. Make up your own mind. Do your own thing. If you don't like my opinion, you can click off right now. <laughs> okay. 
And they, uh, this someone asks if the car in the picture is a picture of her actual car. And Dead Winter Carpenter says, sorry, it is a pic of the car that is also missing. Okay. So is this a picture, really a picture of her car? I don't know. This person says, I really hope they have a good list of all the people attending the party. Mm -hmm. And that the underage attendees will understand that it is very important to share information with search and rescue and law enforcement and likely they wouldn't be reprimanded for drinking. <laughs> Does the car have any type of internal roadside assistance or navigation that could be activated to find its location? Yeah. Does she have a Facebook page? Also, she probably went with friends, right? Where are they? <laughs> Good question, right? Where are her friends? The phone, according to Placer County Sheriff, has been out of service since the party. Oh, that's not good. I hope she's found soon, they say. Deadware Carpenter says, maybe she's at the Laytonville event. I don't know why I keep thinking she is. It would explain her not contacting her family. There's zero reception at the music, at this music event in the hills. I hope I'm right. Um, and then this one, the, the very last one I want to share with you, I thought was odd, strange wording. The, the words these people choose to use are really strange to me. It says, we have converted a group to help spread awareness on this. Someone put. We have converted a group to help. Spread awareness on this case. Anyone else think that's odd? And just one more time, one more thing. Um, I haven't done a deep research on, uh, sorry, I keep hitting the camera. Hmm. Um, I haven't done deep research on Dead Winter Carpenters, but I looked up a couple of their songs and I was listening to the words and this one really, really messed with me and I need you guys to hear it. I'm not going to sing to you. I'll read it to you, but it's, it's something else. Well, some folks said, give it a while. Maybe that's just never been my style. I've never been much for advice that's not my own. So I took off quick with half a mind, half listening to the mess behind. Go from babble of a rabble to a drone and said, I want you by my homicide in our murder black Cadillac where we'll make a happy home of black leather lined with chrome. And I don't want you to deny if you ever thought of turning back, because I want you. Yeah, I want you. Yes, I. It's a job gone off without a hitch. You laid the bait and I made the switch. Ain't you glad them folks been had and never knew. So if the engine grinds and the tires slip and the scales of our good fortune tip, I'll just be glad to meet the end right beside you. Like in prison or hell. Sorry. Excuse me. You're going to feel this way when you get to the end of the song, I promise. <laughs> Because I want you by my homicide in our murder black Cadillac, where, we, where we'll make a happy home of black leather lined with chrome. And I don't want you to deny I was ever there to have your back. Because I want you, yeah, I want you, yes, I. Here we go, guys. You know, I want you like a monolith. Interesting analogy. 
Want you like the apocalypse. Also an interesting analogy. I want you every way there is or has been known. You know I want you here each night. I want you like a dream of flight. <sighs> Sickens me to say. Back when I was maybe only four years old. For you, I've lust like a consumerist. Let me read that again for y'all. Back when I was maybe only four years old, for you, I've lust like a consumerist with eyes like two voyeurists and the tongue of a televangelist, or so I've been told. And so let's ride off in the dark night and there'll be no talk of turning back if you want to, if you want to. Y'all, something's wrong with that song. There should never be a song, even from first person position, that's talking about lusting as a four-year-old. It's gross and the fact that that would even enter your mind is really, really disturbing for me. I don't know, guys. Like I said, this is all my opinion. It's all speculation. I just came across this as I was looking at old stuff for Kylie. Because I'm going to do each day, like I said, I'm going to do like the, the 7th and the 8th and the 9th. And I want to see like how the narrative changes as we go along and how the stories change as well. And the descriptions of Kylie. Y'all, something's going on with this band. Like, you write songs about things that you feel inspired about. And I feel sick. And I only looked at, like, three songs. So, I'm kind of afraid to look. I don't really even want you guys to go listen. Because you can't find the lyrics online. You have to listen to it. I had to transcribe it because there was nowhere to find it. No wonder the lyrics aren't online. They don't really want you to pay attention, I don't think. It's crazy, guys. Like, it's really freaking me out. Are all these people freaks? Like the whole place? Are these the songs they sing when they have these meetings or parties? It's just... I don't know, guys. I really need to know what you think. I didn't expect to find this today. This was not what I planned today. I planned on doing August 7th, August 6th and 7th, um, which I'm going to try to get out either today or tomorrow. But um, please let me know what you guys think because I find this extremely odd extremely, extremely odd. I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. Blessings.